Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Today, I'm making a barbecue meatloaf that is moist, tender, smoky, and absolutely delicious. If you like oven baked meatloaf, you're gonna love barbecue meatloaf. It's really easy to make and delicious. So let's get started. In a large bowl, add an egg, Worcestershire sauce, Dijon mustard, barbecue sauce, and since I'm on a low carb diet, I'm using my homemade low carb barbecue sauce, but you can use your favorite. Black pepper, salt, granulated garlic, fresh chopped yellow onion, and bell pepper. You can chop the vegetables up as big or as little as you like. I like big chunks of vegetables in my meatloaf, so I left them a little bit bigger. Chop fresh mushrooms, and almond flour because I'm on a low carb diet, but you can use breadcrumbs if you like. Now get your hands in there and give it all a good mix. Because like you've heard me say before, when you mix things with your hands, it makes everything taste better. Now add 80-20 ground beef and ground pork. And if you don't want to use pork, you can use all beef. Now get your hands back in there and give it a good mix. Not only because it makes it taste better, but because it irritates some people that you touch raw meat with your bare hands. So it's a win-win mixing method. For a full printable copy of this recipe and many more, visit thewolfpit.com. Now spread the meatloaf mix out onto a piece of parchment paper, wax paper, or aluminum foil. I use wax paper because that's all I had, but any of the three will work. Now form the meatloaf into a nice even loaf. Now cover the meatloaf and place it into the refrigerator for at least one hour to firm up, or you can even do it overnight. Now while the meatloaf is chilling in the fridge, I'm going to preheat my Rectech RT300 pellet grill to 250 degrees, and that's as easy as turning your oven on and setting the temperature. It doesn't get much easier than that. For the smoke wood, I'm using Rectech's Ultimate Blend Pellets, which is a blend of red oak, white oak, and a touch of hickory. I give that about 15 minutes to preheat. After the actual temperature on the Rectech has been up to 250 degrees for about 10 minutes, we're ready to put the meatloaf on. Now place the meatloaf into the center of the grill and then slide a meat probe into the thickest part of the center of the meatloaf. Now close the lid and let this go for two and a half to three hours or until the internal temperature reaches 150 degrees. After two and a half hours, the meatloaf is at 150 degrees and it's looking and smelling delicious. Now I'm gonna baste it very liberally with my low carb barbecue sauce, but like I said before, you can use your favorite barbecue sauce. Now once you have as much barbecue sauce on it as you like, and as you can tell, I like a lot of barbecue sauce, close the lid and let it continue cooking until it gets to 160 degrees. Now once the internal temperature of the meatloaf reaches 160 degrees, remove it from the smoker and let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes before slicing. After it's rested for 15 to 20 minutes, slice it as thick or as thin as you like. And there you have it, barbecue meatloaf that is moist, tender, smoky, and absolutely delicious. And if you're like me and you like a cold meatloaf sandwich made with leftover meatloaf, wait until you try one with barbecue meatloaf. You'll never want a baked meatloaf with gravy again. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give this a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you next time.